good morning guys and welcome back to another video i hope you are all doing well and we are slowly getting there you know we're getting our lives back on track so today i have a very fun video now there's a lot about slimming world i'm sure a lot of people have taken part in slimming world or weight watchers or something of the equivalent i personally never have um no one directly that close to me has i not that i'm aware of um maybe a couple of friends um uh, but like no one in my family or anything like that so what we're going to be doing is because obviously i'm a personal trainer and i only would promote a calorie deficit for weight loss for losing fat it's the only thing that works and anything else any other diet you're essentially just putting yourself into a calorie deficit whether you're removing a food group like carbs you are um like drastically cutting your calories you're like in a 5-2 diet where you need like i don't know 800 calories or whatever it is you're still in a calorie deficit it's just extreme and there's no need to be that extreme if you just want a sustainable long-lasting weight loss um obviously slimming world is um quite popular so how slimming world works is they give you they don't work on calories they work on foods that are free i believe and then foods that are sinned i think a general rule of thumb is that for the foods that aren't free you're looking at for every 20 calories is one sin if something was 100 calories you're gonna have five sins in it basically but only if it's not from the free food list so from the free free food list you roughly you have things like fruit and vegetables um meat potatoes pasta that sort of thing um there are some weird rules for example bananas are a free food because they are a fruit but once you mash them they're no longer free foods they then have a sin or a few sins in and i think that's the same with a lot of fruit or if you cook it um because apparently then the fruit is no longer the same type of form and you're releasing chemicals and more sugars from it and stuff um yeah well whatever that's their theory my theory is i have only ever done a calorie deficit and that's how i have achieved this i'll pop a picture here of um like what i've done throughout the years and i've never once done slimming world and i never would because i think they teach you very unhealthy habits and my personal opinion is i just don't think it's great why are we weighing people in a group um at a weird time of day um and then shaming people and then like forcing people to try and lose like ugh, like pounds and pounds and pounds in a week it's just not sustainable and basically it's just a money making scheme to get you to go back um so they can keep making money because what was it the mully yogurts were a fat were a free food um until they realized everyone was using them so then i think this was actually weight watchers and then they like sinned them or whatever and they made the weight watchers version of it which was the exact same same calories and everything they made that one um they made that one a free food but sinned muller it's just a money-making scheme sorry but it is um obviously everybody's got to go through it they've got to learn it if that's what they want to do fine but i'm here to show you obviously like i said i've only ever done a calorie deficit so i want to eat my food in a calorie deficit because that's what i'm doing at the moment nothing drastic roughly 1700 to 1800 calories that's for me please don't copy my calories but what i want to show you is how many sins are in my calorie deficit diet now so I'm not going to be eating like I'm on Slimming World because that's just not for me and I will literally cry. I'm going to be eating how I normally would but I'm going to show you the calorie equivalent to the sin equivalent. And you can see exactly why I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, and yeah, if you basically are on Slimming World and you want help getting out of Slimming World or you feel like, you know, you stop and then you can't carry it on by yourself or you find that you're always going back and it's the only way you lose weight of course it is because that's how they make their money to get you to keep coming back if you need help please reach out for me i am an online coach and i'm happy to take you on as my client um all of my online coaching links are in the link in my bio so please yeah just have a look reach out if you need help but without further ado if you do like this video and you find it interesting please give it a big thumbs up click the subscribe button turn your notifications on um if you've got any weird funny stories from slimming world please share if you've got any positive experiences then fair enough i know a lot of people do have positive experiences but as a whole for me i wouldn't recommend it as a personal trainer or an online coach um anyway with that being said let's go and eat some breakfast and see how many sins are in this breakfast let's go
Okay, so we have my smoothie here. Let's give it a taste test. Mm. Really thick. I can never seem to get it taste the exact same. I think it's the bananas. Mm. Okay, that's gonna be good and filling. Um, so this is the smoothie that I have all the time. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be tracking everything on my fitness pal because obviously I do a calorie deficit, so I want to tell you the calories. And also I'm gonna tell you the macros because obviously I do track my macros mainly in my protein, which is the most important one for me. Um Protein is obviously really good to help with like things like fat loss because it helps keep you fuller for longer. So if your plates are fuller of protein, you're less likely to then snack. Um, it's also good if you're resistance training as well, which is obviously absolutely key. So the ingredients we have is one scoop of chocolate peanut protein powder. Um, if you want to make this, you can just do it with chocolate if you don't like chocolate peanut. Um, one teaspoon of Nutella, one banana, 200 grams of fat, 0% fat free Greek yogurt, 0% fat Greek yogurt, um, and then coconut milk, 150 ml. So that breakfast, this is my breakfast. I prefer it than like solid food, um, just because it's easier and I just don't function very well in the mornings. Um, so that is 438 calories. Um, really good, like whatever, it is what it is. So for protein, we have 48.2 grams of protein, which is absolutely insane. 7.5 grams of fat, which is also amazing. And then 45.1 grams of carbs, which is also fabulous. Um, I don't really tend to focus on carbs whatsoever. Fat, I try to just keep below a certain amount, um, but it's protein that I try to hit and or go over if possible. Um, but like I said, not to anything about the other ones, just mainly focusing on protein and the calories. So yeah, 438 calories, which is really good. Um, but, so if we compare this to the amount of sins I've had for breakfast. Um, so Nutella would be one sin. So we're going to add them up in the corner. The coconut milk would be two sins. Um, I don't know why, but it is. Um, my... Greek yogurt would be free, a free food because it is fat free. Um, banana is mushed and mashed, so I assume that counts as four sins because, yeah, I'm not eating it as a whole, I'm mushing it, so I don't know. And then the last one, my protein powder. So the one scoop of protein powder, which can I say is um, pure whey isolate. So the protein powder itself has 115 grams of protein in and 0.6 grams of fat. So it's really good. Whey isolate, um, if you're going for a protein powder, whey isolate is really good just because the protein content is higher because there's more proteins in there and also it is normally less calories and less fat, which is really helpful if you're in a calorie deficit. Um, but the protein powder has 12 sins. There you go. Big old 12. So for breakfast, we are at a total of 19 sins already um just an fyi with slimming world um they only allow you to have 15 sins in a day so looks like i'm not quite cut out for this life i've basically gone over my allowance already but that's fine we're gonna keep going we've only had breakfast we've got two more meals we've got a lot of snacks to get through so yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this and then I've got some check-ins to do because it's check-in day with my clients, which I absolutely love. And then I will check back in when we're gonna have some more food. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so it is now lunchtime. I am going to have a tuna jacket potato. So with that, I have some mayonnaise, the light mayonnaise. We're also gonna have some sweet corn. So going into the Sins version of it, the tuna is free, the meat seem to be free, which is um, obviously ideal because you ideally want to get as much protein in as possible. The jacket potato is also free because they have like this thing where potatoes, rice, pasta is all free. And I, oh, it says that on the website that it's free food so you can have as much as you want of it. But I believe that when you go, they still give you some sort of limit of the amount and I think like when people talk about it, they do say like, oh yeah, you can literally have as much as you want and that doesn't make sense, it's so calorific. I don't know if it is like that, obviously, I'm not 100% sure. Also, a lot of their information is kept quite privately because it's a paid membership, so you get that information once you pay. 
Um, but yeah, so I don't really know how that, the carbs work. Um, obviously they still have calories in, so that's why I don't get it. Um, the sweet corn is also free because it is a vegetable and I'm not mushing it. Um, and the mayo is because it's light mayo and I'm only having like one teaspoon of it. Um, it is one sin. So lunch only has one sin, which is actually really good considering we had 19 for breakfast. Remember again, I really couldn't give a crap about the sins. I'm just going through it with you. Um, but that would be a good sin free meal. There you go. Um, yeah, let's make lunch. Okay, disaster number 17. To be fair, today's been actually okay for disasters. Um, so I cooked the jack of potato, one side of it burn, and then when I cut into it, there was like a huge bruise in it, so I couldn't eat it. Cooked a second jack of potato, and I just I just couldn't do it. Like I have jack of potatoes, well you guys know, I have them like all the time. This was like burn on both sides where it sits on the bottom and the top, and then the rest was like raw potato, like what am I doing wrong? So I've given up on potatoes and we've gone with tuna on toast because it's easier. So here is the tuna on toast. Now sourdough bread is not a free food like potato was. It has four sins in. So we have four sins from the bread and we have one sin from the mayo. For calories so far we have 809 calories. Not too bad and then we have the sins that make it look way worse than what it is um we are i'm gonna have some crisp i'm gonna have some pom bears um with my lunch which i'd normally have as a snack in i'm gonna have it with my lunch just because it's a bit of a smaller lunch um they are three and a half sins i don't know how you get half a sin they're three and a half apparently and let's bring us up to 898 calories that's that so i'm gonna eat my lunch now because it's literally taking me like well over an hour to burn two potatoes and decide i'm gonna have toast instead and i'm gonna chill out catch on the flip so we are back it is the evening time um i have had my lunch obviously and i'm just chilled out it's like what's the time 20 past six i don't eat dinner yet it's still too early i'm very tired as well I'm gonna watch some Riverdale, but I'm about to have a packet of these mini Marylands, which are only 99 calories. Um, 99 calories, they have six and a half sins in. So, 997 calories, which is really good. I've still got dinner and a few more snacks to go. But I'm gonna go and watch Riverdale, and then I will see you at dinner time when we can add more sins to the pile, baby. See you in a bit. Okay, so I am so tired. It is now dinner time. It's so late. Um, it is now dinner time. It's not dinner time. Can I say that? What's the time? Yeah, we can still class it as dinner time. Um, so we have Noki. Um, so let's just have a look. I'm gonna go downstairs and cook it, and then I will show you exactly what it looks like but um i'm just gonna go through the calories whilst i'm still up here okay, so we have it is did i say what it was i don't remember also my hair is not greasy i've just got out of the shower um so we are having gnocchi with bacon some like marinated sort of like sun-dried tomatoes a sauce like a stir and sauce and some cheese obviously so that meal is 536 calories um, just quickly go into the protein side of it. 23.7 grams of protein. It's only bacon in it, so you know. Uh, it's got 18.1 18 .1 grams of fat. Um, again, bacon, basically. And then 67.8 grams of carbs, because Noki is life. Um, so yeah, that's 536 calories. So the sins for this meal are as follows gnocchi apparently is free because it's potato i'm not 100 percent sure if it would be um but we're gonna say it is because that's all i could find and people were saying it was and it was on some of their recipes and stuff that was free food so well i don't know bacon was five so we'll add that five sins to the total the marinated tomatoes that we've got are two sins. I couldn't find the exact ones, um, but I did the general rule of thumb that for every 20 calories is one sin. So that is two calories for these because they are in like some sort of 
thick oil type stuff. And then the pasta sauce has a four sins. Again, I couldn't find the exact one because it's like so hard to find exact sins for sauces. Um, so I just did the 20 calories for 100, uh, 20 calories for one sin. I mean, for calories, we're doing pretty well, but yeah. So I'm gonna go and cook dinner now. I will show you what my dinner looks like because it is so yummy. And yeah, we'll have a chat um, after I finished it. And then obviously I will add in my dessert because you know I love a dessert. Um, yeah, sorry I'm so tired. <laughs> I don't know. Lockdown is kind of getting to me a little bit. I find myself in the evenings and getting to like the weekends where I don't have as much like work to do. I'm a bit like really bored I guess I don't even know but hopefully the end is in sight so trying to stay positive but yeah this lap last bit is a drag and I feel like that's normally the case anyway when you're waiting for something um but oh well it is what it is right let's go make dinner because I'm hungry Okay, so that was my dinner. It was insane because who doesn't love potato, bacon and cheese? It's literally my favourite things in the whole entire world. So we are going to finish off the night with a Rice Krispies bar. Let's grab one. These Rice Krispies squares bar, my favourite. And a Highlights hot chocolate. So the calories for this is 156. And then we have the calories for the hot chocolate, which is 38 calories. Um, I do add a bit of milk to it, but we'll just say it's 38 for now because that's just easier. Um, so that gives us a grand total of 1,727 calories, which is amazing. That is honestly so good. Um, and it's basically bang on between 1,700 1800 for my calories which is what i'm aiming for and 121 grams of protein which again is absolutely perfect for me so um so those calories are absolutely perfect um because it's in between that um so this rice krispies bar has eight sins in and my hot chocolate has three sins in even though it's a Cadbury's highlight and it only has 38 calories in mental um so we end the day on 56 sins can you see how mental that is so i have eaten while within my calorie deficit it is a really successful day i have been able to enjoy foods that i wanted to eat i haven't gone crazy over my fat pro um, my fat macro i'm telling you what it is now 45 grams which is literally barely anything 120 grams of protein and 211 grams of carbs. Honestly, it has been a really good day for eating. Um, for myself, anyway, I'm not saying that that would be ideal for everyone, but for me, that is honestly absolutely perfect. Um, so to compare that to 56 sins literally makes it seem like awful. Like if someone said, oh yeah, I've had 56 sins in a day and I didn't really know anything about it, I'd think, oh, like definitely like eating a McDonald's or like a takeaway or something. No, I'm just eating like a normal person that's had good food, cooked food fresh food so yeah it's absolutely mental i don't get my head around it personally as a personal trainer i don't think it is i don't think we should be teaching people to do this it's teaching poor habits about food it's teaching people to be worried about food scared of eating all of my clients well the majority of my clients have had really negative experiences with swimming world which is obviously why i absolutely detest it um there's certain things they shouldn't be saying, there's certain things they are teaching people to worry about the scales, they're teaching people to starve themselves before um, getting on the scales to ensure they have a weight loss week. Personally, I don't think that's great. They might not be doing it intentionally, but we do have to look at how big of a platform it is and what kind of behaviour it's encouraging. And if you've got a weigh-in check, weigh-in thing at 6pm where you all meet at 6pm at night, People aren't going to eat as much that day before you check in at 6pm because you want to lose the most weight as possible. So they're not going to have a very good eating habit there. People are scared of carbs, people are scared of sins. Honestly, I'd rather eat like I do now than do that. Yeah. So I hope this has given you a bit of an insight and I hope it's been interesting. If it 
helped please leave a comment below or if you have any like questions or you're struggling with anything like I said I've got spaces for my online coaching just message me comment I'll get in touch um yeah don't be scared leave slim and well basically that's my tip um but if this video has helped please give it a big thumbs up click the subscribe button and turn your notifications on I also just want to leave a disclaimer that obviously I am not a fan of Slimming World and that is my opinion. I am entitled to my opinion. Um, you guys might have had a different experience and if you've had a positive one, then awesome. Um, but it would be interesting to see how that experience continues once you were to leave Slimming World. Because obviously I've got my clients to sort of show that it hasn't been great for them. So yeah, do the right thing. But anyway, I will see you for another video very soon. See you later.